We're back. I'm gonna see if I can beat this bitch. We're here. Swan. Oh my goodness. We got three. Oh. 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 Shit. I'm in this corner. This shit's rough. These are eye frames. Ooh. I don't have any eye frames. Well, when you're, you're like. I have eye shit. You do. <laughs> Leave me alone. How y'all doing out there in the internet world? I'm still fighting fucking death. I'm not gonna lie, some of these episodes may have to be compiled in like 30 minute episodes. Oh my god. Yeah. Jeez. Cause we, I've been stuck on this one bitch forever in a day. That's true. Like, whole man. Whole man. Whole man's. Your man's a hoe. He's a hoe. You're gonna talk about something. You said specifically, I'm gonna talk about the story of when you were passed out and you deliberately did not say anything about the story. Oh, yeah. My God. <laughs> Are you saying my God to me or my God to how much damage you just took because you're dead? Tell the story. Tell the story <laughs> oh man, please tell the story. <laughs> so, no, I, I, I put in work that day. I was tired. I deserved that nap. So, we were going. We had a chance to meet with a uh, a, uh, a record label. And we tried out. We borrowed my mom's Land Rover. Oh god, I hope she doesn't listen to this episode. <laughs> she know we didn't wreck it. <laughs> we didn't. I put I put some t wear and tear on that transmission though. Um, we ain't got nothing to do with that. We drove <laughs> we drove to Charlotte, and uh, for for um, convenience sake, that's about two hours away from where we are. Yeah, that's right. And um, we had to lug up a whole drum set. That's why we had to buy the Land Rover. We had to lug up, lug up all of our equipment in one vehicle and roll out. And, and my mom was super cool with it. She was like, yeah, you can buy a Land Rover. I was like, yay, yeah, mom. By the way, we're not super rich. My dad had gotten my mom a Land Rover before the divorce. And now she can't keep, upkeep it, though. So we, we're not super rich or anything. We're not fancy. Right. We got nothing fancy around <laughs> just, here. Just saying. <laughs> she's driving this old fucking 90s model of Paula now, so. No, actually, no. She's driving this in the 90s Taurus now. No, the Impala died. Anyway. Back to the main story. Um, we we're driving to Charlotte. We we're driving back. We realized we had booked a show. We we're like, oh, well, this ran later than we expected. And also, there's freaking um, construction happening on the interstate uh, that's unavoidable whatsoever. And we said, shit. Well, so we traveled back through Greensboro. I was rushing back hard. And I was driving, avoiding traffic, this and the other. And I think driving through Greensboro is like 30 minutes. I would say driving through on the interstate. Mm -hmm. I shaved that down in half. We did get book it back to Burlton super fast. Oh my god, I just remember. It, like, it just came back to me <laughs> like that's a raven. I was just like, oh, he right. <laughs> like we, we made it back in record time. Yep, and we made it. We set up in five minutes, and we started playing the show. At the end of the show, I was dead. I was tired. Bob, and put the picture up that we're talking about. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I was there, on the ground. That was me, dead. <laughs> this is me. You're probably wondering how I'm I got you. <laughs> God. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, those were good times, though. Even though they didn't end up so well. They were good times while we were there. We had them. Yeah. <sighs> but now we know. We know the ins. We know. Well, not. Well, I know the ins and outs of the music industry. So, like, now I know how to avoid that situation. True. I mean, going indie is not. I mean, it's kind of a thing to do now. Like, who's having careful? You know, yeah. What you're looking for. You don't need a record label, but you do need a dedicated manager. Like, you don't have to have a record label to be successful. The only thing that pissed me off about our um, our manager, I got a chance to get another one. <laughs> fuck! Oh fuck! 
The only thing that pissed me off about our manager... We're going to ride it out. Was that on our demo song that we had to play for our, um, pr our label head, she was like, aren't you supposed to play this part too? I'm like, no, that's that's the guitarist part. I'm, I know my part. I, I know my part. I don't know how I can feasibly play any more during this part, but... Did we, not tell, did we ever tell a story about us almost getting our record deal on the show? I sure think, like, have. once. We didn't go into super hardcore detail. Oh. Well, uh, you should go into detail about it right now while I try to focus. It was, it was a lot. It's a lot of... You know what? That's perfect. I'm focusing. I know it's a lot to talk to. What? No. I, I was about to explain that. I was about to go into it, man. Oh. I was just explaining that it's a lot in, in the industry. There's a lot of things you don't expect, like branding and things like that. Like, it's not just playing and like, having a good old time. It's branding. It's about looking the part. It's about always being the part. You're also an actor. Like, you have to think about it at that aspect. You're also this person all the time, in public, forever. Forever. Like, you look like Steven Tyler on stage, you Steven Tyler on the streets, playboy. Like, that's who you are. Damn. Shaq. <laughs> so. <laughs> I died. I died. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of that. I mean, they really wanted to, like, straighten my hair and stuff when it was really long. I was just like, eh, you're gonna kind of, like, you do realize I'm not white, so if you do that to my hair, it will destroy it. They just told me to go get a clean cut. So I went down to the barbershop with some dudes, and some crazy things happened. Like, um, a guy, a <laughs> kid was there, and he was just being a bad little shit! They, they actually show. I, I learned that this one product is a natural product called Mixed Chicks. No plug or anything or whatever. You can get it from Target for like 20 bucks, but the leave-in conditioner lasts forever. Um, just use like a little dime size, depending on how much hair you have or whatever. But it tends to, tends to you know, my long hair, it keeps it up pretty well. Um, it's all natural. This shit. It's zero pee. But um, it's all natural. It's a really good product in case you have like. Ethnic hair. And you need a product to use. But that's basically all they did to my hair was just put that stuff in, give me a trim up. Um, but I don't know. It was like yeah, I went to fancy places though that day. Like I just went to the no, barbershop. David went to the most fancy place. He did. He he did because I don't know. I felt like I felt like she hated me. I felt like she really didn't like me. Well. What? I mean, fuck okay. it. True. It don't matter now, but yeah. But it's a, it's a lot to think about because you also like have to. They all, they told us to work out hardcore. Me and Cher. Mm -hmm. That was great. There it is. They're like, oh, you're fat. You need to lose weight. Yeah, they told me the same thing. And then like I had, I'm pretty sure I talked about this before. But I, I we had, did talk about diet a little bit. I had Cher, <laughs> Cher on this like dumb diet where he like lost 20, 20 pounds a week. I lost ten pounds in a week. You lost ten that one week? Yeah, I lost ten pounds in one week in seven days. Which you shouldn't do. That's they scary. say they say twenty pounds is like the most in the week you should lose, but ten pounds is still like a little dangerous. I feel as though it is, but who knows? I'm not a doctor. I'm not claiming to be. Sorry for all those meteorologists out there. By the way, <laughs> by the way, disclaimer: on the past few episodes, I did. I was making jokes earlier. I do, I know a geologist studies rocks. I I know. I know. Don't look at me like that, Bob. Jeez, I was making jokes plenty times. Plenty times. Skeleton. Are there any like blue skeletons? I know there's like the white ones. No. No, there's no like different color ones like where it's. I want, you know how many kids are going to play Shovel Knight and be like, Oh man, I, I like the, the old school style games, you know, I play the old school. And they play this shit and they just like get their fucking assholes wrecked. In the words of a person that I hold dear to my heart, they get their dick hole smash. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. Fuck! <laughs> how the fuck? 
fuck? You just gonna run up and fuck me? Fuck! Oh my god. I didn't even give a whip upgrade because you're a fucking bitch! Fuck! Oh my god. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna die. Really? I didn't know that, Bob. I mean, it was two pounds per week. I thought it was 20. <laughs> that is, that um, that's times 10. I, I lost a considerable amount of weight, too. Even Marty was like, dude, you losing weight. I'm like, yeah, I, I guess. It's like not enough, though, apparently. <laughs> They're like, no. They, they told us the next time they saw us, which would have been in two weeks, we had better have lost a substantial amount of weight. They did. Yes. I don't know, like, I, the only thing about that whole, like, moving to Charlotte thing I really wanted to do is just, I wanted to live with people where we can just make music all day. Like, I don't know, I really, and when we took a little trip down to, fuck my shit. Through downtown? Through downtown, we saw all the music going on and everybody was just, it was just very festive. Like, I don't know, I, I love that. That's when I was just like, fuck yeah, dude, we're gonna, I'm gonna do this. Truth. I felt that too. Memories. Bob, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to super cut these episodes because like I spent so much time on this level. Like y'all think that this is you know I'm I'm acting, but this is really hard. Like it's really this rough. Oh, Fuck my shit! Let's skim to your back. Oh what, bro? Spooky, spooky skeleton. Dude, there. It makes me so mad at my job. There's this one girl who's like six years old, and she can play the um. I forget the name of the planet or whatever. The name of the song. It's the. It's that one like, like. The planets. The no. It's the Star Wars song where they're in the club and they're just like. Oh, the uh, the cabana. The cabana theme. That one. She plays that perfectly on the piano when she's six. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I just look at, I just look, I just look at these kids. I'm just like, bruh, I suck. It's <laughs> so bad. And then sometimes I'll be playing guitar at my job because I have a leisure to do that. At sometimes and they're just like, wow, you're really good. I'm just like, shut up. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I mean, probably in their eyes, you are good. I mean, you should take that. You should take the compliment. Yeah, I guess. Because some people are good and they don't. They never get compliments. I feel like you're taking that personally. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just had to look around and make sure like everybody was on the same page. I mean... I feel as though you are good. Thank you. Do not pick up that. Okay. I saw it. Oh. Um. I feel like you're good at percussion, especially. Obviously, because you studied it. But I suck. At, I would suck at making beats. Like, suck. You're better at music theory than I am. I'm okay. You're way but You have such a strong grasp of music theory, and I don't think you understand how much of a grasp of music theory you have. Like, I've, I've just pulled some all-niners just trying to freaking, like, study music theory and get better at it. And, like, you just be like, oh, this is this. And I'm like... I, I, took, music, I took music theory one and two. At, at, uh, I took music theory one, two, and three, and I'm still stuck at it. Well, no, I took it at ACC with Dr. Lane, and Dr. Lane is a, a reputable, like a reputable teacher. He is that dude. Yeah. Shout out to Dr. Lane. He is that dude. I asked him so many questions after after every class. Like I had to, to in order to understand. But um, common question of the day is there ever like do you ever have this one teacher that elementary school or high school or middle school college whatever who just really like took like ten extra miles to help you out and, and try to get you through certain courses and even other things. I even had like a couple teachers like I asked like. I was like, what's the meaning of life to you? Like, what is, what is it all to you? 
And like, they're all like perturbed by the question. I was just like, oh, it's just like, this is a question, man. Same thing, like brain jogging or whatever. I mean, I'm sure it is to some people because existentialism and, and whatnot. But they gave me some pretty valid answers. I had um I had a lot of teachers in my college career that has gone above and beyond to help me out. Um especially at ACC. That's the one thing, like people give community colleges like a bad name or bad rep because they're quote unquote, you know, the poor man's college, but it's still an education. You should never put somebody down just because they want to better themselves and get an education. I I believe that wholeheartedly. Um just like I go to school online and people look down upon me and they're like, oh, well, you go to school online. And I'm like, well, yeah, but at the end of the day, I'm still getting an education. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I'm still learning. All right. I think that's the end of the episode. No, we're not going to this episode right now. Are you going to beat? Are you gonna... I'm going to, I'm going to attempt. <laughs> oh my God. This guy's a maniac. <laughs> He's a brainiac, a maniac. All right, <sighs> let's just... let's do it. You can do this, man. I, I believe. You gotta believe. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Let's do this. Yes. Let's do this. Yes. Let's do this. Let's, let's do go! this. Dad. Let's do this, Dad. Let's, go! let's do this, Dad. You ain't yes! shit, bitch, motherfucker. You ain't shit, bitch. Woo! <sighs> Believe in yourself, guys. Don't let anybody tell you that you you can't do it. Turn your dreams into reality. <laughs> this is Big Reese signing off. Y'all stay sexy. Sweet dreams. Hit it, motherfucker. <laughs>